Welcome, here I've got Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G and I'm gonna show you how to use the camera promote at this device. So let's start by tapping on the camera button to open it and for now we are on standard photo mode. So we have to change it by using the settings bar and just simply going to the right to more. Here we get access to more modes of this camera, one of them is the Pro, so let's pick it. Here we are, this mode gives us possibilities to choose some shooting parameters by ourselves. This is useful when we want to learn photographic skills or making experiments with photography. So let me start with the settings bar, let's go from the left. The first one button here allows us to control the ISO, so the camera's sensitivity to light. As you can see we get access to the slider and we can make it less sensitive from 50 or more sensitive by going to the right to 3 and 2000, so this is wide spectrum like this kind of camera, I think it's really pro. We can of course easily go back to auto ISO by tapping on this manual button from the right. Now let's move to the next one option, the shooter speed. Here we can manage the time of taking picture and we can make it shorter or longer. By going to the left, it goes to shorter. The shortest here is 1 in 12,000 of seconds and it should be definitely better to objects with a good light, for example, in move to frozen them at the picture. By going to the right we can make it much longer to 30 seconds and this time should be better to objects that are stable. Of course we can easily go back to auto settings by tapping again on this manual button and changing it to the auto. Now let's move to the third option, the exposure compensation. Here we can manage also the light of our picture. This is kind of basic settings with uh, the uh, lights and shadows of our picture. At the center we have zero parameters on the slider. By going to the right we can make our picture more bright. By going to the left we can make it more dark as you can see. And the important thing here is that if you want to use this uh, you have to be on the shutter speed on the auto settings because when we adjust the shutter speed as you can see manually the exposure compensation is locked because the shutter speed connected with the ISO together are kind of uh, light managing also more professional than this uh, exposure compensation button so remember about it now let's stay on the auto with that and on zero with exposure compensation and let's move to the next one option. Here we have the focusing. We are on autofocus. By using the slider, we can change it to the manual and adjust it as we need. And of course, to go back to auto, we have to tap again on manual button. Let's move to the next one option, the white balance. Here we can change the temperature of our picture in Kelvin degrees. So by going to the left, we can make the temperature more uh, blue more cold by going to the right we can make it more orange more warm so this is kind of balance between warm and cold tones of our photo and of course to go back to auto white balance let's tap again to manual button from the right and now let's move to the last one option as you can see when we tap on it we get access to a few other buttons we can manage and sliders so let's start, al start also from the left the first one is contrast of our picture and we can make it more or less contrasted by using the slider and the next one here is highlight so the parts of the picture that are in light we can make them uh, more or less highlighted as you can see and let's move to the center one, the shadows, also here we can adjust it, more or less. And the next one here is also saturation of the colors, so we can make our photo more colorf colorful with more intensity of the colors, or, or go to the left to kind of black and white picture. And the last one here is the tint, so the balance between the green and the uh, pink tones of our photo, as you can see. Uh, so by using these parameters here, you can create kind of your own filter you can add to your picture before you take it. So I think this is really pro feature here. And I want to show you one extra thing. So when we move back to this view from the this manual settings, we can slide 
to the left on this settings bar and get access to reset button so you don't have to go back in each of these parameters to auto separately you can tap to reset and all of this goes back to the auto so you can start using this from the beginning and now let's move to this settings bar i want to show you the right corner button here we can pick autofocus area so if you stay on autofocus you can change it between the multi and the center and let's pick the second from the right button also you can pick here metering center weighted matrix and the spot so let's stay for example on matrix now let's move also to the left corner button so we get access to advanced camera settings most of them is also in standard photo mode as you can see lots of them is locked in the pro uh, but i want to show you format and advanced options when we tap here we get access to rough copies option so we can save our picture not only in jpeg but also in rough format so this is format used by professional photographers to saving more details at the picture and post product in them in graphic programs this is really really profing so by using the button from the right of course we can turn it on and off as we need and now let's move back to the pro mode here and let me adjust these parameters to take a picture so let's stay on ISO here the shutter speed may be here as I said the exposure compensation button now is locked because we adjusted light by using ISO in shutter speed and uh, maybe focusing let's stay on auto now let's move to the white balance a little bit colder and let's move to the standard settings and make our photo more contrasted maybe more highlights uh, and less shadows for example and more saturation and more pink to see my photo let's move to the left to the button that follows us straight to the gallery so this is how it looks like of course this is only an example i suggest you to making experiments with all of the settings and just have a good fun thanks for watching subscribe our channel and leave the thumbs up Thank you.